There could be the next prime minister, top economist or leading doctor in this classroom. But according to the school's watchdog, we might never find out. Because the brightest children are being let down at state secondaries, not stretched enough and left to coast. The report found 65,000 children who scored the top level in primary school maths and English later failed to get A star or an A at GCSE in those subjects. 27,000 did not achieve at least a B grade. The Chief Inspector of Schools says it's just not good enough. We find those statistics surprising and disappointing and we're saying it's got to change and standards have got to get higher. So it's the teacher's fault? Well, in some cases, teachers haven't got high, high, as high uh, expectations of them as they should. The comments haven't gone down well. At Charter School in South London, these year 10s are uh, learning Mandarin. Our sway, Nina. Yeah, need you sway. After being chosen for the gifted and talented scheme, they regularly send pupils to the best universities. At the beginning of each year, every child in this school is set a number of targets and they're given progress reports every six weeks, which are published on these colour-coded charts. The idea is that each student knows their potential and what they have to do to achieve it. Today's criticisms make the head teacher angry. There are schools making a significant difference for their most able children and for their least able children, and Ofsted know who they are. If Sir Michael has got a problem with specific schools, he's the HMI, he should be in those schools, sorting those schools out. Sir Michael Wilshaw has certainly provoked debate, but not the support of many teachers, already feeling under pressure. Tessa Chapman, Five News.